Hi guys, this video is about operating with Petometer Mark II and about some recommendations. Obviously, I'm starting with 7mm strip width. You have to start with a thin strip and then you can scale it up on the run to make fully connected filament all the way. Cut off the bottom of the bottle and make some thin strip for a better guide to the cutter. Cut the longer strip for easier hooking on a spool. And now make a thin tip for a better guiding to the nozzle. Set the temperature to 220 degrees Celsius and easily pull the string and slide the spool in. Now we are ready to go. I'm producing an useful filament at the moment and that's because of huge gap in the middle as you can see and that means that I need to add more height on a cutter. So I'm pressing the plus button and I'm waiting to see any visible changes on the filament quality. The changes are not visible instantly, so you need to wait some time. And then you can try another little steps up. Now is better, but I will add a little bit more. We are almost done. And now it's getting into a shape. It looks very easy, don't you think? But it still needs a little practice. I personally think that the cutter was the most important update and I really love it. I hope you'll be happy with that too. The thing without any changes is the processing time for one bottle it's about 45 minutes again sometimes the bottle makes a terrible noises but there's no solution for that because we can't lubricate it okay final results inspection I think that filament is looking really good there's no visible defects, bubbles or gaps, it's connected all the way and it's good. So, the best thing that I should do is to take the measurement of a strip which is 11 millimeters, and I should uh, save this information for another use and that means that uh, the second bottle which is the same bottle 
will be a piece of cake because I have precisely set it up the cutter now we can achieve a really good result for the first run and that's progress I think My first recommendation is about the drying your filament because bottles are filled with the liquid all the time and you are washing the bottles in the end. It means your filament is full of moisture at the moment and this is exactly what is destroying your prints. I'm actually using this pretty cheap 25 bucks filament dryer and I'm using it uh, for my PLA, PETG and for saving my old spools with the filament. This is totally must have thing and the link you will find in the description. My second recommendation is about PTFE tube if you are printing with a Bowden. Because you will need something what will survive a high temperatures for a long time. This is the cheapest one you can buy on an Aliexpress. It's very wobbly and it's not good for your retraction and uh, it will be destroyed very quick with high temperature. Next is the original from uh, Creality Ender 6 and uh, this is much better than the previous one but still it not will last a long time with the high temperatures this ptfe tube is from creality 2 it's called capricorn and maybe it's the best you can buy the filament fits pretty good as you can see and with this PTFE you can print an ABS nylon, it will resist the high temperatures. You will find the link in the description. So that's it, thank you for your time for watching this video. Uh, STLs are live at the moment, so thank you again and join us at our community and subscribe for tutorial don't give up guys